All right, in this lab, we are going to be looking at graphical apps. We are going to understand how programs are often very similar when used in Linux and Windows and learn how to customize Linux operating system settings. We're going to experience the GNOME desktop environment and Debian tools. So by this time, you should have your GNOME environment installed. But let's go ahead and uh, walk you through once again, setting up the guest editions. All right. So what you want to do is you want to switch to root. For root, you want to do apt install Linux headers dash dollar sign new name dash r press enter. And it says these are already been installed. Next thing you want to do is apt install build essential and that's already installed as well then you want to go to your devices and you want to insert the guest um, image here if you get that message make sure you have a um, Make sure you have an actual uh, CD-ROM drive. I do not, so I have to add one. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that in case this happens to you. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, shut off. Yep, power off. I'm going to go to VirtualBox. Move this over here. Go to Debian. Go to Storage. And I want to click on Add. Uh, let's do, um, yep, VBox Guest Editions. Choose. Okay. Okay. Start it back up. And pick back up where we left off. Okay, I'm going to move my screen a little bit in my window. Perfect. Let's go to terminal. All right, let's try that again. Device. Um, yep, insert guest. Well, the disk is already in there. Okay, I can verify that by going to files. And then here is my disk. Okay, if it asks you to run it, do not run it. But what you want to do is you want to select all the files. You can do a control A, do a control C, and let's go to documents, make a new folder here. I'm going to call it guest edition. We're going to go to that folder. We're going to paste our files in there. Okay. I can right click on a white space here and go to open in terminal. And you can see there's where I am. All right, I'm still at my account, but I want to switch into root. Type in my password. All right, and basically, I want to do chmod plus x vbox Linux. I want to make it executable. And there's my file right here. You see I've got the X4 executable. And then I want to run the file. So I can do dot slash vbox Linux editions dot run. And that's going to walk you through the install, right? I've already got it installed, but I would just press enter and then you would reboot. The next thing you want to do is uh, you want to explore. Let me close terminal here. Explore some common programs here. So uh, in uh, Debian, you can just click on the activity screen here, right? And you can see that you've got a lot of programs that are uh, built in, right? And we've got we've got our Firefox, we've got our browser here, uh, but there are other store, other programs um, as well 
that you can choose from. Let me see what else we got here. We got a music player. We got nibbles. Um, let's try just searching for apps. Sometimes you do, Sometimes there's a store. Here you go, software store. Let's go shopping. And if you wanted to add some more software, you could easily do it. You know, one good thing that you could try to do uh, to really get good at Linux is to basically use Linux, right? And you can, you know, go all in, erase Windows, and install Linux, or you can, um, you know, dual boot. That's something as well. The Genome Extensions is a pretty good program as well, in case you want to um, enhance some of the functionality that's not turned on by default. So here's one right here. If I turn on Applications, you see this Applications menu came up here for uh, faster navigation here. Also have a, a removable drive window. As you see, it shows up there in the top right-hand corner. Um, if I wanted to choose themes, I could choose themes as well. I could choose GNOME, Classic, High Contrast. and I'm going to keep it as default, though, turn it off. Um, I can also do a window list as well. There's my windows at the bottom there because I wanted to choose those. I'm going to turn that off. Window Navigator. Let's see if I can see what the window navigator is. I don't see that one. Well, let's see if I see any change. Nothing. There's my workspace indicator. There's a one there. What else can we do? Um, places. That would be here. Whoops. That would be right here. Just wanted to quickly jump to somewhere. That's a useful one. Um, Let's see, auto move windows. What is this one? Move applications to specific workspaces when they create windows. Eh. But you can always add more, which is pretty nice here. Let's close the extensions and uh, let's go ahead and add a couple more. Let's search for, um, see if they got a uh, Zoom. Not, they don't have any Zoom there. Let's see if they got, uh, I don't know, uh, Teams. Mm, Dropbox, not much. So basically, this is kind of a pared down, but that's okay. We also have, um, let's see, productivity. We got a text studio. We got labels here. We got a dictionary, um, an accounting program. Looks like two accounting programs here. Focus Writer for word processing. Calibre is a great ebook reader here. This is a good program for email. I like this one a lot. Evolution. Um, word processor, ebook reader. Looks like you got a little printer. What is this? Virtual printer for reviewing and editing documents before printing. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff there. What else do we have? Um, so that's the productivity. Let's see what we got for um, audio and video. Okay, MKV tool, play it slowly. Look at a sound converter here. But as you see, a lot of little programs. Let's just go ahead and um, install, uh, let's try uh, VLC, see if we can find that one. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to search for VLC. All right, this is you know, a great little video player here. Type in my password. One other thing that I also like is um, flat packs. Let me show you about this one. So, in case you you know, um, let's do flat pack Debian. And uh, this is a way to also get programs as well. Let's see if we can just do it like this. Again, this is some bonus, some some Lani app here for you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paste that. Let's do sudo apt install flat pack password is no longer there we go I say no longer working here all right so let me show you about the flat pack in the uh, Flat store. Um, 
So that was Debian. We're good to go there. We're going, but we're going to do a couple things here. Um, let's go ahead and do the Flatpak plugin. Let's go here. And let's go back to my terminal. I'm going to right click and choose paste. Oh, sudo. All right, and then I need a place where I'm going to get my actual applications, and that is a repository. Let's copy this one and go back to terminal. I could probably, I could probably also do, you know, copy paste as well, but let's do that. sudo flatpak. And I add in my repository. All right, now I just got to do an, uh, a quick little restart. Reboot. Let it boot. And the distro I'm running on the background is uh, Linux Mint 21 version Cinnamon. Let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so I showed you how to install Flatpak, but let's actually look, take a look at the store here. So Flatpak is just basically kind of all-in-one um, applications here. And you see it's got some of the mainstream ones. Let's go to Flathub and take a look at the applications that you can choose from. So um, I've been using these for a while now, but they've got a lot of really good applications here. There's Chrome. We can do that one. We, we already sold Firefox that came with it, but if you want Spotify, you know, there's a whole lot more here. There's even Microsoft Teams. There's Zoom as well, All right? If you click on it, it's going to walk you through, uh, you know, how to install it here. If I click on this one, let's see what happens if I click here. Let's see if I click on, let's see if I search for Zoom. And let's see. Let's see, yep, it looks like it's coming from the Flat Hub right here. So now this is part of my store for the graphical version. Uh, before, I think we were trying to look for um, Dropbox, right? And there it is. Let's see, this is the Flat Hub version. Yep. Um, but yeah, so now I've suddenly, uh, you know, increased lots of the accessible applications that I can have on my computer. But I'm going to go back to the Flat Hub. And I guess this is a nice little way to uh, get applications installed, you know, in case, you're, in case you find the uh, switch to Linux uh, harder. You know, this is one of those things that will really help you out here. There's Slack, of course, uh, Microsoft Teams, there's Minecraft, but there's a whole lot more than just these. You know, they got Steam as well, games. Uh, graphics photography, but yeah, a lot of these programs I, I use every day when I am recording uh, the videos in this class. The the, the um, one I use for um, this class is the uh, Simple. Let me do a search here. It's called Simple Screen. There it is, Simple Screen Recorder, and uh, there it is. And I've I've already got it installed. Oh no, wait. I actually do not have it installed, but yeah, this is a good one here. Works really great. It's lightweight, simple to use. I don't know. I don't know what works for me. Um, but yeah, so that is a little extra. Hope you like it. See you in the next one.